Hello, my name is uh, Jens Bjerring and I'm a postdoctoral researcher at the University of Southern Denmark. My, my name is Mikkel Krause Fransen and I'm a postdoc at the University of Copenhagen. And together we have written this essay called uh, Ecology, Capitalism and Waste from Hyper Object to Hyper Abject. Uh, and this article will, uh, will be published in Theory, Culture and Society at some point. Uh, and first of all, one just thank the reviewers and the editors for an amazing and very, very helpful job. It's been a great process. So, um, so the reason we wrote this article was that Miguel and I walking around the campus uh, of University of Copenhagen were discussing uh, over and over again uh, the notions of and connections between global warming, capitalism, um, aesthetics, and the current sort of like um, popular philosophies that tend to discuss this relation. And specifically, we, we felt that there was a significant conceptual uh, gap in, in the writings of, of uh, thinkers such as Timothy Morton or Jane Bennett and, and other thinkers who, 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 who are very popular these days, and especially when it comes to thinking about the global ecosystem, if you will. And this conceptual gap has something to do with the with the sort of like the holism of their systems. We felt that it was too, uh, uh, that, that, that the way they think about these things tend to blur everything into one sort of happy delusion assemblage uh, in which there is no uh, room for politics or history or, or difference as it were. And, and uh, uh, based on that, we want to do something new or so like uh, at least sort of like produce a tiny intervention and that intervention uh, uh, took off when we read an essay by a Danish poet called Tsai Zontoft, um, who coins the notion of the hyper-abject. That is not Timothy Morton's hyper-object, but uh, the hyper-abject, related to it, but, or so we claim, radically different and radically destabilizing for the whole notion uh, of the hyper-object and other connected notions in contemporary philosophy. And the first part of the essay is a sort of to the fourth through uh, Tysonsov's essay, um, which is based on a travel that he made a couple of years ago to the tundra of Siberia and, and to the so-called permafrost holes. Um, and the concept of the hyperabject is of course a conceptual theoretical synthesis of uh, Morton's concept of hyperobjects, but also of Julia Christova's concept of abjects. And when we offer the concept of the hyperabject as a correction, a necessary correction to, to the concept of the hyperobject, it is not merely a matter of narcissistic wordplay or some kind of tiny Derridian difference. What we try to do is to conceptualize the age that we live in, an age of waste, waste. as it were. Um, there's basically waste everywhere. There's waste in the upper layers, of the stratosphere and waste at the bottom of the sea. There's waste inside of us and outside of us. Um, um, approximately 11 billions of solid waste is produced every day and 280 billion, uh, million tons of plastic is produced every year. And this kind of waste does not go away in the sense that plastics, for instance, is more forever than diamonds. Um, so what we are, and the point is that our concept is not exactly a object, it is more an abject, and it is not exactly a structure, but more like an infrastructure, the infrastructure of contemporary capitalism, as it were, the infrastructure of the, of the logistics uh, of capitalism. And uh, three keywords in that regard is exploitation, um, exhaustion and extraction. Extraction not only of natural resources but also of human bodies and of labor. So in the article we provide a series of theoretical reflections based on that essay by the Danish poet Thais Antof, but we also point to some contemporary e examples of what the hyperabject may be or where it might be useful as an analytical tool and our basic argument is that any thorough understanding of, for instance, oil spills in the Mexican Gulf or in the Niger Delta, or of um, the melting of the permafrost on the Siberian tundra, 
um, or of the formation of the Great Pacific Garbage Patch requires the concept of the hyper object. 